Hello and welcome everybody to the PSR podcast, season two, episode 10. Uh, I am one of your hosts, Etiquette, and with me are the other usual hosts, Jordan. Hello. And Iron. And this month we have two very special guests. Uh, we have Headbob. Yep. Hello. Hello. And Wave Warrior. Um, all right, so before we jump into the notable runs, uh, real quick, just go over a little bit of news. Um, pretty much if you've been on Twitch following any Pokemon people, uh, you may have seen some Legends Arceus gameplay. Uh, those games came out last Friday, uh, and it's been pretty active in the, the speedrunning community. Um, we won't really be featuring any of the runs today uh, because the leaderboards open up on monday february 7th um so next podcast will probably be full of a few a few runs um as the times get dropped lower and lower so uh stay tuned for that but um i guess our first notable run is on the game boy so you want to take it away iron yep yeah so first one up we have um a new gold any percent world record by washer uh with a sub eight time 759 uh really not much to say about this run i believe it had very good encounter luck early on and uh that's why he or they saved quite a bit of time uh early on um but it's pretty much what you'd expect for uh for a gold any percent run um very fast uh fast run and a lot of uh execution i guess with the boxes i think it's yeah you do the box uh box names and whatnot so uh congrats to washer on this uh on this time anyone else have anything to say about this it's uh i haven't seen this run yet um but i know that gen 2 any percent gets some real wacky stuff with the with the collision route uh, yeah, that's Gen Two. Any percent is just wild. <laughs> but how does the collision work? That is a great question that you should ask someone who knows how it works. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair enough. There's like two people in total. I said, "What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a link. I'm gonna link it in the chat because I believe in the description, and I can just scroll down and show it as well. There is actually like a good description of everything." From the looks of it, so if you do want to oh, wow. have a bit of a read up on that, that's pretty detailed. <laughs> yeah, like a pretty detailed read up and like links to, I guess, the route that's used, and something from uh, interpreter. Not interpreter. I, yeah, I yeah, don't know how to say that. There's that, no yeah. vowels, and it trips me up every time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I was gonna ask who kind of came up with that, and I think yeah, Enter would have been. It was been. Enter, yeah. So that's as well. Is that, I'm gonna assume this is also the first sub air sub eight. Yeah, I think this was just like the run. I heard it was like a really insane mm -hmm. run. I guess yeah. moving on. Is wave. Hello. Yes, that is me. Uh, so this is my one second minute break PB. <laughs> uh, this was uh, just a wild run from start to finish. This actually had, I don't know for sure it was the best ever, but one of the best ever rival two in Watson times of any run um and i kept really good pace basically through tate and liza um i had a crazy good true double fight actually uh with with metang it used like three attacking moves in my favor which is just crazy um but then i was out of i was out of super potions for archie so i had to lose time there and then I had the worst Rayquaza section of any run I've seen. Uh, 
you have you have fast forwarded to a perfect place <laughs> to highlight this. I'm glad you got that timing right then. <laughs> Wait, we're special. I saw this live. It was Why is ninety five percent accurate? In that, yeah, you, I shoot like as I shoot. You get hit hard with anything that's ice related with Rayquaza. <laughs> This. Yeah, Rayquaza doesn't like ice types. This one, like, what was the actual like time? I know, like, because it was under a second of a PB. It was two thirty fifty nine. Okay, so yeah, I should I should have meant like how much of a PB? Sorry, because I know. Oh, was... uh, my old PB was two thirty one oh oh. Oh. So literally one second. <laughs> yes, but now I am untied second place, and I got the fruit the second two thirty. Second, second person to get 230. Right. I guess another thing as well to point out, because this was, well, this was only a few days ago, but this means it was after Blitz, which you won. Yes. So yes, I did. Congratulations on that. Oh. Yeah, thanks. That was a great event. All, all the people involved were great. Uh, it's a lot of fun. How was the recovery afterwards? Like, I mean, I'll, I'll I slept for uh, 12 hours after oh. I finished on Sunday. <laughs> like, actually, like, cause I don't think I ever asked you guys to get like, how, like, is like, how rough is it as well, like, doing blitz? In the like, moment, it was great. It was great. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun, and it doesn't like feel like it's dragging at all. It's just like the after effects, and definitely like mm -hmm. going to bed in between. It's just, yeah. And especially with a game like Emerald probably didn't. Ha I mean, it's a little bit shorter than Let's Go, but you know, you, you've got 12 hours to start a run. I mean, you could be live for like 15 hours, depending on it, like, mm -hmm. when your run actually starts your last one. So it uh, it can be some brutal time, but at least it's all compacted into like one weekend. So it's not too, too bad. Yeah, yeah, being was... live for that long, it sounds crazy. <laughs> but you guys took breaks, which is good. It's the longest that I've ever streamed. Prior to that, I had one seven-hour stream, which was like by far my longest ever. My normal stream lengths are three to four hours. So it, it was certainly an experience. <laughs> yeah, look, you actually started later than most people. Uh, yes, because I did not want to wake up at six o'clock. So I, I, <laughs> you know, why can't everyone just agree to live in better time zones? Yeah, everyone should just move to the UK, make it most convenient for me. <laughs> Ignore the fact that the majority of PSR is in, like, North America. Uh, how is she a Drake? Because it seems like you lost a fair bit of time. I got double protect. Ah. Uh, yeah, I think she got no protects. Also, some of that time loss is I healed on that split. Okay. Because I missed fly and got hit for a lot. I, At this I point, I, th I thought PB was dead right here because I yeah, was... Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, you were like, I, oh I, no, like, this is going to happen. And then, and then you were very shocked at the end. <laughs> I'm pretty sure what happened is on my PB, I healed before Wallace. And I forgot about that, and that's where I made up the time. Sounds right, yeah. Well, actually, Wild so, run. Do you actually get the reaction at the end? <laughs> really, like, click on it so I can actually keep it forward. Alright. Yep, right here I'm just <laughs> laughing because it looks like I'm I'm gonna get a one second PB and that actually means something. <laughs> yeah, I mean like I don't know, like speaking personally, having like a PB on like well I guess in your case it's like it was a two thirty one flat. Yeah. It's it's a bit rough. Like knowing <laughs> that if you just like Maybe like a couple of frames quicker with like an A press or something. I think I was six or seven frames off. Oof. My old PB. Um, and what makes it even worse is that I was tied for second place. 
Yeah, it's true. Couldn't even have Soul 231. Hey, congrats on getting the, the sub 231. Yeah, thank you. I just need to get the sub 230. Yeah, that's a big one. I'm like... It'll have, some I'll get it any day. Yeah, people yeah, have been yeah, on there's pace. a lot of you guys going for it. Yeah. Believe it or not, when you run Emerald for 18 hours in two days, you get motivated to <laughs> actually get the record. You're playing well. <laughs> <laughs> Good reaction. Yeah. Best, best reaction. It's just so funny. Alright, and moving on to the next run. Um, we don't have anyone. Like, does anyone here run platinum? At all? I don't. I can. I can tell you that this was on Monkey, and that the previous record was on Piplup. So this was a big deal because it went back and forth. That's all I know. Fair enough. Yeah, because didn't, didn't wasn't the score on like either last month or the month before with? Yeah, he got a record, record pretty recently. With, with the penguin, yeah. I think it was month. last month. But yeah, so cool that being going back and forth. This is drafted with platinum any percent, uh, glitchless any percent glitchless. That's actually an important distinction here compared to some other games. But yeah, three thirty six fifty four. Um. I just picked this section because of the waterfall, I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, like, yeah, I guess, I guess we don't really know too much, so we'll just quickly move on to Head Bob. Y'all run. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is my 30304. Actually, insane that this run even happens. Um, my goal with my grind was honestly, like, I would have probably taken a 305 and left, but sometimes with this game, like, you can't, there's no really, like, extra safe or risky ways to play so this run just kind of got a good run and then just this happened um i mean my <laughs> it's kind of funny up, up to my watson which i would have considered this like a very good run but for 303 it's actually not that great but what made this run so good was my section from meteor falls through the norman split the norman split's playing right now easily the best norman split that's ever been done just because of how insanely lucky I got. Um, execution was okay. Uh, definitely was a bit patchy in some spots, but um, the fact that this run was even close to a 303, or even close to a 302 even, just blows my mind. Way better than I ever could have expected. I like that. I, mean, I see you have seven points. I didn't realize you're actually running like all us. Yeah, um, I was doing. I mean, I've lately I've been doing most of my runs offline. That's kind of why. Ah, okay. So this was an offline run. I oh, yeah, actually. Is there like a latest section with like in BIOS because uh, that's that I would like specifically really good. I mean, uh, yeah, Mount Pyre is like, I mean, honestly, like a standard Mount Pyre nowadays is just not getting any damage. And that's like really, really fast. Um, and so that's what this run got. And so I saved uh, probably 20, 30 seconds of my PB with that. Actually, no, even more because my Rival 4 was really bad PB. Oh, let's see, that's a very solid Latios as well. Yeah, for the first time in a in a while that I've actually gotten a standard a standard legendary. Legendaries for people in in Oras have been pretty cursed lately. I swear I never see good legendaries in this game. <laughs> I came back and did an Alpha Sapphire run one time and I got actual minimum special attack for my Latias and I just stopped playing. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally it was like adamant zero to three IV. Special attack. Oh I'm like, all right, nice. guys. <laughs> I'm done. And my my ground on it wasn't even like fantastic. It was like it was 31 speed, but it was like seven to eight attack. But at that point, it was just like it was not horrible. So I was just like over the moon. Yeah. If I remember right, Groudon like speed is like super important, and attack is important as long or 
attack doesn't matter as long as it's not horrible yeah yeah for the most part yeah. horrible attack makes makes phoebe really bad oh yeah but thankfully this this was not that yeah uh um, definitely, those definitely not defenses be... though <laughs> <laughs> Um, isn't it actually quite good to have maybe not like the worst defense or special defense but like uh, bad special defense is good yes right. right because that would be for the the rival at the very end right yeah 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 um but yeah i mean this run just i have literally no incentive to play on my ruby anymore this is just <laughs> the best run i could probably reasonably get yeah because like what is that three or six your previous pb then like, uh, I'm comparing against my previous PB, yeah, the 306. Like, that's a, that is a massive jump, a especially jump, at the yeah. top end. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, actually, let's just have a quick look right at the end. Definitely came down to the wire. Uh, I was in I was in VC with a bunch of people at the end, and. A couple, people, a couple people were convinced that um, that it wasn't going to be a world record at all. And then, like, I just got a standard fight, and it was record by what we thought was two seconds, but it was retimed to actually be three somehow. Even though it's a point four one, Split a billion years late. At least it went, well, I guess at two seconds, it wouldn't have mattered either way too much, but still. Right, right. The, the one second better looks a bit... What's but for example, you could play the what if game if I had 31 neutral attack. I could go for the Claydol range on Champ and get 302. But it's just, you know. Oh, you could be happy. Or you could be happy. Or not, <laughs> <ass. laughs> not play the legendary roulette. Yep. So, I think who's like who's currently. Because I know there's uh, talk of doing like a community blitz. Yeah, that's happening uh, March 6th, uh, yep. like a more casual Oras Barrier Blitz. Um, and I think I'll be I think I'll be doing that. It should be pretty fun. But like, I'm just trying to think who else is actually like actively grinding at the moment. I think right now, uh, nobody. Ekman was doing runs earlier. That's basically it. Yeah. I guess to be fair, if there's like the thought of there's going to be a lot of RS in like over a long weekend. I can understand people taking a bit. Yeah, for sure. And also with Legends Arceus just coming out, I imagine maybe not not full crossover, but I imagine there's a fair amount of people just playing that as well. Right, right. I mean, that's what Head Bob and I are both doing right now. <laughs> that's right. Actually, what what's your? Well, actually, Edgar, what was your time earlier? Because I missed the ending. <laughs> Uh, four forty-seven, I think. Yeah. And then Saiyan got a four forty-five. Like right I can't after. believe that on his second run, he got a four forty-five. Yeah. I'm going to assume Saiyan's done like a lot of practice. I yeah, didn't I mean, he see must him have. do anything for like a, a week, and then he just came out of nowhere, or seemingly out of nowhere, with like a just over five-hour run. I think his first. Yeah, five oh one. Yeah. Yeah. Sa Saiyan's also kind of like Poke Guy in that like. You can just pick up a game and just be good at it. <laughs> That's how he kind of was with Let's Go. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. Like, like and like, what's been happening with you with the uh, yeah. Legends last year? Because uh, head ball. Because what was it? I know I saw like the first or second days runs, which were like seven hours. Yeah, I'm currently know. at five eleven. Okay. <laughs> I'm finding pretty hard to get actually lower than that, honestly. Because the mid game is like pretty brutal in terms of consistency. Are you working on like are you doing your own route or have you been using someone else's like what O Snaps routes? Uh, I've been working I... off of O Snaps route, um, right. doing a little bit of changes off of it, but pretty much the, the integrity of the the route is still there. Okay. Yeah, it seems seems like Legends of Zelda will be an interesting run. I want to get into it. I can't, not for a bit. I'm very much looking forward to getting into uh, going, uh, starting that at some point soon. Uh, yeah, we had this. Yeah. Etiquette. 
Yeah, so um, this is going to the Switch era. Um, this is Echi's 30104 in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So um, Echi's been working on this for a while. Um, basically, like sort of on and off since the Barrier Blitz back in June. Um, been was grinding EV, got the record there, and then came over to Pikachu. Um, this beats the Kerbis's record was, I think, 301.52. Um, and yeah, th this run really puts it all together. Um, really good start. Starmie was decent. Um, great special attack. It was kind of mediocre speed, so um, lose a little bit of time on Blaine with that, but um, in similar fashion to Headbob's run, this was a offline run. So what you're actually seeing here is the post commentary he did on stream the next day. Um, yeah, this this was this was really good to see. It's um, a few seconds off of 300, um, and he definitely had a couple of 300 or low 301 pace runs that died during Elite Four during the grind. But um, it's it's good to see. Uh, good to see him finally get this and. Uh, this is the first time since August of 2019 that the same person held, uh, holds the record in both Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu Any Percent. And who was that, Isaac? That was me. And the, the times back then were like 306 and 304, so they're not nearly as competitive. I mean, they were competitive, but not nearly as optimized as they are now. So it's, uh, it's really cool to see. It was like a year and a half of... I mean, there was a time where the top three in both games were six different people. Like, nobody was good at both games. Um, or at least not at, like, the top, top level. So, it's uh, it's good to see him get that. Did you say mid-2019? Yes. That makes, like, two and a half years ago now, which is mad. <laughs> yeah, it was um, right after my SGDQ run. Um, Jim Freak got a 305, I got a 304, and I still had a 306 in Pika. And then Akasaka came in and got a 304 in Pika, and then I never got the Pika record back. Um, and then, yeah, when Echi got the, the Eevee record earlier this year, and then Pika record just now, or a couple weeks ago. Pika Rep must have come a long way in the last last couple of years or so. Because I mean, obviously, yeah. it's just a superior game, and superior version. That's why. <laughs> it's um, it's an interesting route. I'm not. I don't enjoy running it as much as Eevee. Um, probably because I was just more involved with the Eevee routing, so it's just I don't know. It feels better. Um, but it's Pikachu needs some help through the mid game and like it benefits from help way more than Eevee would. Like you can do a lot of the same strats in Eevee that you do in Pika uh, with two controllers, switching to Nidoking, King, all that kind of stuff. But it just doesn't benefit Eevee as much. Um, so it ends up being, I don't know, they're, they're very different runs. Even though the back half is identical, except for like you're KOing a Jolteon instead of a Raichu. Um, the, the first part of the game just makes it such a unique run. Uh, to each other, so. I still maintain Eevee has a better top end, but it's BS to get there. <laughs> I think Echi has said the same thing. Yeah. I think the, the, the way I like to say it is um, I think Eevee is better to get good at. Like, if you're in like the 310 to 305 range, I think Eevee is way better. Um, and as soon as you get below that, Pikachu is easier to get the lower times. And then there's probably some sort of line even below that where it's like Eevee would actually get a 259 before Pika would or something. I don't know. I don't know if that's actually true, but it's probably something along those lines. Just need Dawson skip, don't you? <laughs> Basically just need Dawson skip. Yeah, this run with Dawson skip is probably a really low 300. And then um, just a little bit better of a run. I mean, he's had 259 pace that would have 
legitimately been 259 had he survived till the end and gotten Dawson skip. Yeah, yeah. That it's just that's a lot of a uh, lot to ask. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah. Especially in the end game. Cuz like I said, like he had better pace runs than this. Um he had a run that was I think it was like 30 pace roughly going into Agatha that died. Yeah, I think that's the one I was I was talking about. It. Yeah. I I saw him lose one to Lance. I don't oh, know what yeah. pace that one was, yep. but she definitely uh, went through it. Definitely went through it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many breakouts does world record have now? Probably zero. Um, it's pretty common to get through a run with either no breakouts or very little. Uh, that wasn't always the case, but two controllers are awesome. Honestly, I, this was a while ago I heard you mention, like, think about this. Did you ever look into, like, figuring out the best times to throw balls? based on like um, Pokemon cycles some of it's been kind of figured out like a lot of the early catches are pretty figured out um but uh ends up being so much work to try and you know catalog that many attempts because like what i would really like to do which would just be a ton of work is go through and like encounter every pokemon that you can catch in the route a hundred times or something and just write down like what is their behavior on the first cycle every single time and then if you find out something is like oh 70 percent to not attack or maybe abra is 80 percent to go to the left you could just like automatically throw and most of the time it would work um but like i said that's there's a lot of things you can catch in the run probably like 40 something things that you can catch realistically so that would just be a a lot of work yeah, and that's realistically the sample size you need for... I mean, yeah. th there are a good number of behaviors that a lot of the Pokemon have. Yeah, a lot of them are, are pretty safe. Like, the best ones, honestly, aren't even good for speed because they're actually kind of slow, but they're good for consistency are things like Psyduck or Ekans almost always attack first cycle. So you never actually will immediately throw. You can always just wait. I you think it's the... Well. Yeah, Geodude's another one as well. Um, it's going to be more like the awkward ones like Midoran female. Doesn't always attack, but if we found out it was like maybe 70% to not attack, maybe it's actually worth, you know, just throwing a ball immediately. Because um, most of the time it would work. Cool. Yeah, because like, that's probably like... Is that probably like the well, I guess other than someone actually guessing Dawson skip. It's probably like the biggest bit of time save if that can get optimized. Of like everyone can of like for the Pokemon that you do catch, if you can figure out the best chances for what cycles will happen and you can catch them based on that. Yeah, yeah, that I think that'd be a big, big source of optimization. Honestly, like a lot of the time save that's still available is the kind of time save that no one will grind for, which is things like getting ridiculous amounts of AVs in your special attacks. So that way you can one shot on Jesse and James in hideout and like in the Eevee version and stuff like that. Um, Eevee, that's one of the things Eevee benefits way, way, way more from having ridiculous stats than Pikachu does. And some runs that'll happen. Um, but it's just, you can't really rely on that at this point like that's my my 302 had that happen um that was why it was a two and a half minute record at the time but i mean if somebody gets like all that optimization ridiculous stats and dawson skip you're probably looking at 258 maybe even lower that would just kill the category though <laughs> yeah but that's i mean you're talking about getting a one of the four good natures on yeah. top of good characteristic that's already well below sub 10 percent resets for yeah. starter that that's one of those it'll the record would be a 301 and somebody would come in with a two or three minute record because of it like it's not like it would be a gradual grind to get there it would be more of a oh this happened while i was on my run 
I mean, Kevin's in chat. Kevin wins the Let's Go Taz. That's. that's can, switch Tazes can be done, can't they, actually? They can. I don't know how motion controls interact with it. Oh, yeah. Like, that would be my issue. I would. You could probably task something like BDSP, but something like uh, Let's Go, I think, might be a bit harder. They must be able to do it because I think they have a Super Mario Odyssey task going. To be um, fair, yeah. if it was, if it could be like if it could be somehow undocked in the task, I don't know how switch tasks work. The A button works, you throw <laughs> if it's undocked. True. But that could be the way. You'd get less experience, but it's a task, so who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. In fact, in theory, that could be quicker if there's less level ups. God, now I want to look at it. <laughs> I guess on that note, we're on before we go even deeper into <laughs> Buster's BDSP any percent world record. Yeah, so this is um, Buster Poke, Japanese runner with a 1431 in BDSP any percent. Uh, 1.1.1. It's worth mentioning just because there are more recent patches mm -hmm. now. Um, this is sort of, I think, where they're planning on stopping. Um, I know that they've been more interested in legends, I think, just based on their Twitter. I can't read Japanese, but based on the pictures and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is a just really solid time with the the current route for this. Um, Buster has been pushing this down since I think like last time on the podcast, we were talking about just getting like sub 15 almost. Um, and so it's been sort of incremental time saves since then um i think it's just optimizing movement and menus and stuff and not really like a route change yeah i think that, that would make sense at this point though it seems like it's seven second world record i'm just going off with the light split in the bottom corner also I find it funny it's just one split <laughs> <laughs> those are the best games does this run like reset for a fast Starly fight at the beginning? I wonder. It probably does. Yeah, yeah. I think at this point it probably would. Because you oh, can two. Turn looks pretty good on that fight, but yeah, you can definitely get threes. That's why I'm one turn. Oh yeah, it seems like it's gonna be a two turn. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if yeah, but it does growl, also have growl. Reset. Yeah. Anyone get under sub? I guess someone would be able to get under 14, 30. Okay, so I guess if anyone wants to really do that at this point. I do find it interesting that a lot of the Japanese do just seem to run it on English still. For this character. Probably just that's where it's more competitive, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with Shining Pearl. Ringo with any percent glitchless Japanese world record. 327.25. Still. Right, like, just the reverse palette. <laughs> I know. It's... It doesn't even help my eyes, honestly. I don't know how this I don't know how this helps. Yeah, I have seen him going through fog root. I can't I, I can't I I can't see a thing <laughs> with the inverse. Yeah, I tried it on my own, I can't see either. So. Um yeah, Ringo, Ringo's a beast at this game. Uh, <laughs> just really solid time here. Um, not much to say. Is this was this Shining Pearl? Yeah, Shining yeah, Pearl. Yeah, Shining Pearl. Um, Shining Pearl should be the faster version, so uh, that makes sense. I know they were doing um, in English. They were doing Shining Pearl runs, and then. Um, they were actually running on like a the one point. Oh God, what is 1. it? It's one one, yeah, one one zero. Oh. And I... that's a pre-release version, so the English boards weren't allowing for it. Um, and there might be some slight timing differences with some of like the loading and the post gym leader cutscenes and stuff. 
Uh, I don't remember the exact details, but uh, so they ended up going over to Brilliant Diamond for English and probably kept the old version because I know the Japanese boards don't really care what version you're on. Yeah, this is 1.1.0, I believe. Okay. So, yeah. As well, yeah, everyone's saying, like, music. <laughs> oh, Ed Bob's saying music oh, in the chat. That's yeah. right. I was, like, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, why is the time so high? <laughs> yeah, so the, the difference is I actually forgot about this until I just noticed it. The Japanese boards require that you have music on for the run, which is why, like, and the reason why that's so fast is because it makes the, uh, it makes the level ups, um, each level up margin, like, a lot slower, um, than, than it would be if you had it off. So, it extends the time by quite a bit. One of the best is good reason Pokemon Speedrun, in my opinion. No way. <laughs> Yeah, I, I saw the time and I was like, that can't all just be credits, right? <laughs> that makes oh, total. Yeah. It's credits as well, isn't it? The Japanese. Yeah, because they end on the end instead. Okay, so then going into the only Super Mystery Dungeon world record that I noticed, at least. Uh, Super Mystery Dungeon, um, any percent Wonder Mail. I believe this had a world record last there's a lot of super mystery dungeon last podcast so like my mind's i don't remember which categories because there's also a million for pmd but this is the english emulator world record a 5 of 5 14. actually the third world record in the same category by secure account uh this month and there was one that was like two weeks ago then another one that was like the day before this one and then finally this 50514. Um it seemed like it was like a really strong run, being like over four minutes ahead at this point, and then was up until like the last 30 minutes, like two minutes ahead. But then it just ended up having quite a fair bit of bad luck, it seemed. And ended up being a world record by five seconds. But still a world record. And then does anyone know Super Mission Dungeon actually before I move on quickly? I don't happen to know. Wave, you could be a Super Mystery Dungeon fanatic, for all I know. I played Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time when I was like 11 years old. And that is the extent of my experience with Mystery Dungeon. Mystery Dungeon is a great game. I just don't know the speedruns. Which is a shame. But I love it. All of the, uh, at least the early uh, Mystery Dungeon speedruns, I believe, are very technical. Like, I do like a lot of like manipulation, which is interesting. We'll say I'm kind of curious um, how much the difference is between emulator because I saw he was on Citra this run. I wonder how different it is as com as compared to like X and Y or Omega Ruby off Sapphire. Because um, I mean, not, because the difference there is like minutes because the emulator is not completely accurate. Let's have a look. Um. Mystery Dungeon, any percent. So, okay, so they do this differently, it seems. They're like NTRs, the same as new 3DS. I don't know why there's a 3DS run there when there's apparently a 3DS category, but it's okay. interesting. Interesting, maybe it's just a small mistake. Um, so that's a 324.45 set a month ago. Then how? With like a one second slower in second place two weeks ago and then secure the five of five i, I mean it's difficult when you don't know the runs but it seems like a fair chunk of difference yeah that does seem like a, a really large gap though like do you, does like do you know what the differences are for auras or in Auras, well. I think it's about like five five minutes. I, I, it really depends. I think in X and Y, it's um, one of them. It's more different than the other. I think X Y, the difference is larger, like significantly larger. But it's definitely minutes either way. Is it is it purely in load times? Uh, yeah, when you go into like yeah. trainer battles, it's a lot faster in emulator. 
Right, that would make sense why it might be a bit larger than for Super Mystery Dungeon. I feel like there's a lot of like cutscene stuff from a few times I've had to skip through things. Find find a time to uh, go for the podcast. Seems like there's a lot of like cutscenes and like, stuff. So just the transitions in between that would make sense. But the last noted run of the month, uh, IB, uh, with a new snap any percent world record, the first 231, uh, with a 231.57. From what I understand, there was like a good bit of time save, like around 10 seconds, uh, from the like from the jungle split. Oh, time no, there's like time 10 seconds of time save on the jungle split, which carried up through to Bulk, uh, bulk of Rona, it seems. And then there was a root change, which went uh, instead of beach to undersea to forest, is now forest beach undersea. Um, basing that purely on Ivy's notes, oh, on Ivy's splits, and that ended up saving around twenty seconds compared to uh, PB, and that pretty much maintained throughout, uh, with it being a, I guess like an on rail shooter effectively not too much time variance but that is a, a new world record the congrats to ib i think is i've never played this uh i feel like i ask this every time like etiquette <laughs> like etiquette or like uh like i did you play it casually i I played it a little bit, but it it honestly triggers my motion sickness, so I can't play it too much. Okay. And then, the like Wave and Headbot, did you play this? Or I even do a runs of this? I didn't even play this one casually. I probably should, yeah. but... Me neither. The yeah. cute game, for sure. Yeah. Also, apparently, Garth's life. <laughs> um... But yeah, that is the last note to run for the month. Spoilers for the leaderboard round up there. Um, AGGQ happened. And with that, that means Bulbashen now exists. <laughs> that's that's the main thing from GGQ. And it does. That's it. How did it get to the point that Shen had to write a written apology to Bulbasaur. Uh, he was just trash talking Bulbasaur. Yeah, but that's deserved. He... That's the thing. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, first two runs. This one was uh, it was a win for. Is Reese win? I, was it Chrism that one? No, uh, he's one. Yeah, he's one. Oh, I'm an idiot. I in the notes I put twenty one. I think it was twelve. So it was a two twelve thirty nine. It doesn't seem to show it on that bit. But there we go. Yeah, two twelve thirty nine. All right, type it on my end. All right, in the notes. Yeah, Keys run Chrism second, and then Shen massively behind. Humiliated, having to apologize to Bulbasaur. But then there was also Water vs. Truly. I don't remember much from this. I remember watching it. I remember enjoying the runs. I don't remember actually much what happened. It was um, it was a pretty good race between the two. Um, I think Wartab had a couple of deaths. Like I think Wartab died to Hideki once. Um, truly lost basically the uh, stat roulette on like everything. His uh, his Latios was worse than Wartab's Latias. Yep, lower oh, special attack. No. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. It was it was bad, but uh, overall it was a really solid run from both runners. It was um, good showcase. There was no, I don't believe there was a sheer cold on Wartab's side. He had a miss, I think. Yeah, there was a miss. That was what it was. Um, and Wartab had a like extremely brutal death. The museum it was like three oh, hurt right. cells, like two miss rock tombs. It was horrible. Um, That's right. 
And yeah, Trilly also had actually minimum speed on this run on his Groudon, I think. Oh, right, because it was like, yeah, it was like in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> At 45, which is so low. And I think he had actually been in this position before on a run, so he knew to, to X speed on the love disc on Wallace so he wouldn't get outsped by Melodic. It's a very specific situation. <laughs> Yeah, at least with a, you, you, like, he knew for the right moment. <laughs> that would have been very awkward to find that out during this run, specifically. Yeah, that is both the GG runs. There's also UKSG, winter 2022. Shifty with blindfolded any percent glitch plus Pokemon Red. How do you... I, I, I'm, I've not seen how you figure this out well you'd be able to tell because if it's the correct can there will be a text box you'll hear although if i'm going to be real it seems easier just to learn how to do the manip blindfolded it legitimately yeah. doesn't seem that hard okay fair oh uh, i know about uh, blindfolded runs <laughs> i guess it'd be fair that if you like, i mean you could try and do the minute well, I guess you'd know, I guess, by how you said the... Ants Manip is just a really simple Manip. Yeah, fair. I can do a trash can. So this was... I guess just... Oh, it was a bit overestimate, but when this it looked later... Interesting. <laughs> I feel like they changed the. I feel like they changed it a bit far. Yeah, they hadn't highlighted the run. So I have to like go to the actual dust, so, like the full nine hour. Full on, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they adjust the estimate to 240. Fair. <laughs> Fair though, like blindfold runs for marathons, they don't seem the most marathon safe. Or at least Pokemon ones. But like fair play for at least just in general though, fair play for just finishing blindfold runs. Yeah, I, for sure. I don't think I'd be able to do it. Yeah, and then the last marathon run, which was yesterday. Um Black Speed is Ghost Skit uh, Ghost Skit Shining Pearl 80 percent 2812. Which from what I noticed, um, it seemed to be a, a case of it was the Elite Four, where right? like a, a lot of time was lost. I think just failing to do the trick, it was just being mean okay. or something. If what I gathered was correct, yeah, that is the last. There wasn't too many marathon runs, but I guess with AGDQ. That does seem to eat up a lot of the marathon space. But looking into the next one, there's actually a um, marathon that's currently going on right now. The only marathon. Um, but more specifically, on the 7th, as I scroll down right to the bottom, uh, Nurse Square is doing uh, Shine Pearl 80%. Uh, one of the last runs. That'll be. Mo no, not tomorrow for US, but not for me. Uh, it'll be on Monday, on the seventh February at one thirty-seven in the morning. So probably won't be watching that because I'll be asleep. But if you're in America or you just awake in Europe, I guess, go watch that. Should be a good run. ESA is also this month. And if we go down to the 16th, um, I'm going to be running Power of Two Fists. Currently at the moment, uh, at 8.31 in the UK, uh, 16th of February. The estimate's still a bit off, that needs changing. I was going to say, it seems a bit crazy. Well, it's perfectly fine if it's Don't Get Urshifu. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's safe enough for don't get Urshifu, but it's if it's get Urshifu, that's yeah. an issue. 
Uh, but there is also uh, Etienne on I think, 10 past, well, 10 to 2 in the morning with Pokemon Red uh, Catch Them All. Doesn't say. I'm going to. Sh is Catch Them All like inherently glitched? Yeah. Default, okay. Yes. okay. Especially with a two hour estimate. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Gen 1 Catch Them All is just a wild run. It's a lot of fun. It's very complicated. Hurts your head. <laughs> and then last but not least, there is Genesis with the gold 80% no save corruption at around quarter past 10 on the 19th, February, which is Saturday. There's also Glitch Infinite, uh, also on the 19th uh, for this run. Oh. Run showcase? I don't know. Either way, it's the Emerald Triple Bingo map rando with a 360 Prism and Shen. And then, last but not least, there is uh, Eateraid or Eateraid. I was it? Is that a hurricane? <laughs> or am I just completely off with that? Either way, um, Razor Flame Coon with. Puzzle Challenge Intense on the 27th. Uh, which was at. Uh, sorry, not 10 to. At uh, 20 to midnight on the 27th of February. And then a bit after that, on the 28th of February at 10 past 1, there is Tayman with Pokemon Puzzle League, which are two different games. <laughs> they're two very different games. Well, they're not very different games, but they're very different consoles. Uh, yeah, that is all the upcoming marathon runs. Unless there is one that I missed off. Which I hope there is not. Um, I haven't mentioned this earlier, but just a cool thing. Again, Barrier Blitz was... Three weeks ago or two weeks? Three, I think. I think. Three weeks ago. Either way, that, that happened. Wave 1. Congrats to Wave. Once again. Thank you. A lot of fun. And is there any other things that may have happened in the last few moments or something? But like just cool things have happened. If anyone if anyone happens to know. If not, we'll get into the leaderboard roundup. Not that I'm aware of, no. Oh, oh cool. So, these are roundup. I just noticed it's not like don't do like found that, that's I didn't realize there was that many runs for a 10% glitch list. Yeah. So, so uh, shout out oh. oh it's, the name the name <laughs> I usually just say video game addict. Just video game addict, alright, thank you. Yeah, that's... <laughs> The video game I in eleventh with a one forty six they thought. Did, didn't did, someone else get a low one forty six? Yeah, Grow Gear. Yeah, yeah. forty six thirteen. I guess it's not on the leaderboard yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, now that's, the, uh, first in the EU now. That's like sixth place or something. Good stuff. Yeah, congrats. I think I remember seeing the five like someone saying like five thousand German runners and French runner tops everyone. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Just uh, shout out anything that seems to stand out. Um, that's all I, uh, oh. I don't think I actually mentioned it. If you in the Discord, if you just search on the, or if you click on like the video, you should be able to see the screen with less delay. I don't know if you are all doing that right now. I forgot yeah. to do it before I start though. So yeah, I got that. All right, good, good. Uh, Have we talked about? Yeah, the TCG. Uh, TCG run is actually worth talking about. Basically, he made manips for like a bunch of fights in the run that are like one or two frame manips. And the thing about TCG is it only takes about four seconds for every failed manip. So you can just keep trying it until you get get it right. And it, it just saves crazy time. So he's just destroyed the category by routing manips for everything. <laughs> well... 
So, like, the reason why he didn't include this was because it's got its own leaderboard, it's the only run on the leaderboard. Yeah. Uh, he caused this to happen. Maybe oh, that's split. so funny that they actually <laughs> split it. Do, do they have a manipulous category now? Um, yeah, it's called any percent leader manip is what this is called. Yeah, it's just actually, yeah, there's any percent glitchless and then any percent mini, uh, leader manip. Oh so, my god. <laughs> that's that's... always the best runs, the ones that cr cause a new category to be created. <laughs> So glitchless allows manips, but specifically not manips for certain fights. I don't know what the rules are for that. I guess leader leader manips oh. seems pretty specific. Yeah, also for rules. Uh, glitches that signify modify uh, modif oh, significantly modify gameplay. Dual escape glitch are not mm. allowed. Small glitches, for example, cards duplication are allowed. I think right. that might be right. from before. Any opponent. Right, so, okay, so d then go to the glitch list and see what Manips it with. RNG Manips. Uh, okay, they've specifically had to add that. That is very strange, but <laughs> it's not my category, so. so yeah. You can do Manips for regular opponents, but not like leader enemies. That's interesting. Yeah. Apparently, he wrote all the botting code to find the minutes as well. Yeah. He's... Damn. That's exactly he what he did. He, he went through time. all the fights, wrote the code, found minips, and then just destroyed the category. Absolute yeah. legend. Such a huge commitment. Yeah, he spent so much time on this. Yeah. That's awesome. I, that, that to be okay, yeah. If I'd have known that was the case, I probably actually wouldn't have included that. I guess that's a bit of a lot, like missing the like just that cool bit of context. Oh, Starchy's running snap. Any percent 49th, 22 52, and then also 100% 19th of 25 58. I think talk about mains 201. Fire oh yeah, the mains right at the bottom there, yeah. Both place. Been grinding that for a long time. Finally got the 201. That... I think he now has the most attempts out of anyone in that game, I think. Oh, our leaf green is very, very easy to run up attempts. <laughs> well, e Surely GP has more attempts than him. I mean, Wait, how mains many Almost 15,000 attempts. Yeah, 14,504 for this one, I'm gonna guess. Just oh, wow. based on that. I mean, a lot of people have over 10,000, I think, but... Yeah. I, it does seem like you like, can seem to go through them quickly. Yeah. I mean, it's like... If you miss what, minute, like that's just... Two, two minutes per Squirtle reset, and absolute top tier you're amazing at manips you you can maybe get one in four over a long enough period so yeah yeah and fire of the dream is just one of those games that's like come on leaps and bounds <laughs> like at least since i first joined psr I also want to point out Scoa's 13th place, 8% glitchless, the 20450. Uh, I assume that's on DS. I don't actually know for certain, but I feel like Scoa only runs on DS. I think it is, yeah. Yep, on yep. DS. <laughs> Do -do -do. It was Sparkle PP'd twice in a Oh, yeah, that's fun. He yeah, got a 233, right? So yeah, yeah, he got a 233.47, like, the next day. Um, yeah, he hasn't even been running the game for a whole lot since uh, his last grind, so props to mm -hmm. him. And also Kurt got a PB during, Kirk got a PB during a Barrier Blitz. Yeah. Good run. Caternese. I feel like... Candy's also got a new PB, didn't he? 
from that. Uh, that's quicker than that. I might be wrong with that. Couldn't tell you. I don't, I don't know. remember yet. Yo, someone did dash run. Hell yeah. B runner <laughs> 0218. 518.37 in green cup regular. Got Ainz Lecession with a 154. In Battle CD RTA, the metronome one. Oh Japanese. no. Metronome only? That's yeah. What it is? Oh boy. Have you seen the runs for this? Yeah, yeah, it's a 2v2. Yeah, that's horrible. It's. It's just. It's not. It's serious. It just seems like one of those runs where you just. Put it on whilst talking to Just a, a, a double battle where you only have metronome and you try to win the fight as fast as possible. Yeah, so just show Josh. Amazing. <laughs> oh, I forgot that's actually Eve. the end. That was like the purest distillation of a meme category. You got Surf, oh boy. <laughs> wow, that, that's gotta be one of the best moves you can get. On a Geo, dude. Seems pretty good. Yeah, because it, it's always Clefer and Togepi, which you. I, which is what you have versus Geodude in matchup. That does nothing. <laughs> oh, did he miss? Oh, he, oh my god. Surf and arrow blast. Wow, surf arrow blast. Yeah, that face is exactly how I would feel <laughs> if I got that. <laughs> I find it funny that it's like this is Josh as well. Like half the video is the actual run, and I assume the like the other half is him just cheering and celebrating. Because this is Josh. <laughs> Sadly, no audio for anyone. But oh, apparently I was there as well watching it at the time. I don't remember that. Cool. Oh, I cannot close that tab because I forgot to open the new tab. There we go. <laughs> I was also lead ball around it for a second. Um, you... Oh, Alwo with the any percent glitchless uh, emulator world record for 1911. How does that? Does anyone know how that compares to? Uh, it's like a 340 on console. Yeah. Okay. A bit behind. All right. Uh, fair. Uh, oh, there was many other mystery dungeon runs that I missed. I think. Okay, so there's eponymous with a five nineteen thirty two, um, which I'm going to guess is explorers of darkness based on that comment, seeing as it doesn't beat the uh, explorers of time. Does that mean? How are these split up? <laughs> Let's say explorers of darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which one was the specific one? No one in the mail. Okay, no one in the mail emulator. Alright. Okay, so I wonder where that one is. Oh, but either way. So there's that. And there's also uh, Shonington with a 80% no one in the mail Japanese emulator world record of 11 hours, 35 minutes, and 4 seconds. I'm going to, I feel like that's probably the only run of that. Bold assumption. What do you know? <laughs> A little fair play. Just managing to do it. Uh, Crafter, we already mentioned. Oh, Rebentus. In fourth with a 336.43. In any percent, in any percent uh, high gold souls over any percent glitchless. English DS last few, yes. Pretty solid time. Yeah. How did I miss? Oh, okay. That's why. It was not a thing yesterday when I was compiling all this. Uh, Breezy with the Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure World Record. 
21820, which I believe beats their own world record. I think they, I think Reboot had it before. Yeah, I think you're right. Because like we had Reboot on the podcast when that first happened. Um, it's one of those runs where I could not tell you anything about it, but it is, uh, it's they're actually fun runs to watch. They're just very different. Of course, I picked the probably the least interesting moment from the random <laughs> pick there. Uh, how about there? No, oh, it's loading too long. I don't care. All right, <laughs> moving on. Uh, let's go in third. With black white two. Uh three nineteen. Not bad for a first run. Oh Japanese, okay. Japanese run. Eight percent ja in Japanese. Yes, let's see, yes. Yeah, very close to world record. Which like I know like Sko has obviously done a lot of black white two before, but still it is technically a first run in Japanese. And only being off by one minute and eight seconds. Pretty cool. Did, the engine. Yeah, I was gonna say, did anyone watch that run specifically? Yeah, uh, the early game of San Jan's run was probably the best run that's ever happened. I'd say up to maxi one. I'd say. Hmm. I, I I think it was like a thirty-one nineteen brawly or something with repel. Um, that's just, absurd. Just <laughs> unreal. Um. And her PB was even worse than, than mine was at the time, so she jumped another three minutes or something, too. So, yeah. really, really excited, excited for her. And then Ekman as well, with a 305.53. Something must have happened apparently in Ice Puzzle, was very close to happening in Ice Puzzle. But Ekman, I believe, was an emulator runner, but must have yeah. console now. Yeah, they mainly did an emulator. Um, they lost, I think it was like a minute 30, minute 40 to the ice puzzle, if I remember right. Uh, yeah, it was like, yeah. Whereas ice puzzle is way worse than, you know, its Gen 3 counterpart. Yeah. I think it was like <laughs> low 304 pace or something going into ice puzzle. Lost quite a bit of time. And also, what time in third battle for Sapphire with a 30606, which also says something the fact that that time was third and this Ekman in eighth with a 305. There are really... so many 304s now in Omega Ruby, it's actually insane. So many. Yeah, it was, uh, I, I always like to mention it when it was before Head Bob got, before you got your run. Um, I was in, I think, sixth place with a 304.51. And if my run didn't hit the spinner that I hit, which only lost me about 45 seconds, I would have been second place. Like, there's five or six runners that are all within, like, 45 seconds to a minute. It's absurd how close the top is. And then, and then Pokeguy and now Head Bob are, like, a minute ahead of that. <laughs> Sorry about that for a moment. Um, but yeah, RS is in that, like, again, it's just so many people seem to be like progressing in that as well. Like, RS, let's go by the Arena. I feel like I've been in the games with the most activity probably over like the past year or so that aren't it's new games. It's crazy. Out of Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, and X and Y, I definitely thought. Or Omega Ruby specifically would be the last one to get the record broken by like a long shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and people have been jumping off, jumping on the uh, ORAS train since GDQ. Love to see that. Oh yeah, I mean as well with the blitz coming up as well, people can get into that pretty easily. Or even because I assume emulate is going to be allowed for it as well cause if it's just yeah. a community one. Yeah, they said it would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's been actually that has been so. There's more information in the 3DS Discord, which quickly grab a link for. 
I do too, so probably. Oh, I do have to go. Okay, let me go into the Switch Discord because I know it's got all the links there. That works. Talk about it. I can delay by then trying to find it. There we go. Okay. 3DS Discord. I probably should put a 3DS so people know for context. But yeah, that's the 3DS Discord. It's in the Auras general chat, probably, or something. Either Auras general or Auras any percent. I forget which one. I think it's any percent, I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, yeah, there is more information there if you are interested. And if you if you are interested, fill out the form that was posted in there. Whether you want to just help out or uh, if you want to take part in it. Okay. Super Mystery Dungeon. Uh, kind of saw it briefly earlier, but Hulk's. Uh, second place run with a 5.24.46, being one second behind the world record there. Um, ninth, the Randall Eats Cheese. Is a I think he's on uh, I think he's on Potato Cam. Maybe not anymore, but I think he's on Potato Cam. I believe when he did all... his run. I know last month it was, and yep. it's same this month. Hell yeah. Good for him. And especially because it's apparently slower as well for Let's Go. It's a little bit laggier, yeah. Uh, Kani's in fifth as well for the 303 uh, 23. Snarem in ninth for the 30502. Very close to the 304. And then T Pat with the 30705 is that. Uh, physical world record that is as far as i know the best physical time but we don't actually have the uh but yeah variables on the board yeah uh a Pirjo with the any percent shield japanese 1.2 plus world record a 4 15 34 I think that's... Oh, it's Shields. Shields a bit awkward for Japanese. And by awkward, I mean no one runs it. Um, Probably Candy Floss. You... Just because that's what all the, the Japanese runners tend to go for Candy Floss. Do they do it for sh even for Shield, though? I think so. Maybe not. Let's, I mean, we can have a look. Let's just, let's have a look. I mean, 4.15 is a pretty insane uh, okay. time, I think, with Japanese yeah. time, right? <laughs> Um, for shield, I like so I know pre one like for pre one point two, it's done like a four ten, but without a video. Is the world I record see. okay? Which makes it, yeah, that's not on the SLC leaderboards, but it's on the Japanese ones. Um, but yeah, it's definitely kind of what we're basing off that thumbnail. Um. I hate the idea of having to go for choice specs and just going through that bit. Wait, actually, is that used in normal Candy Floss on Sword? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Oh. I think so. You almost use it for Sable. It's like pretty close. I am very glad we don't. That we don't exist. Well, now that I think about it, it's actually slightly surprising that you don't. I guess you need Hydro Cannon or Icy Wind sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, and with like the fights like Marnie where you don't want to get tormented and stuff. How does torment work with choice specs, actually? I never thought about that. It makes you struggle. You, you struggle every other turn, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which, like, you I've, can. I've gotten that. <laughs> yeah, you can Dynamax to break that. Oh, right, yeah. But that's oh, slow. It's slow, so you wouldn't want to do it. Not on, not on the earlier Marnie fights. <laughs> Oh yeah, not in those money fights. You can't do that. Well, actually, when to be I fair though, them, but... there's only well, one money fight. Them, I've it. Yeah, there's only one money fight that you can have the choice specs for, at least in eighty percent. But... Yeah, that's right. You wouldn't even have the choice specs on for the one outside spike booth anyway. Yeah. 
Because you wouldn't yeah. even have them yet. <laughs> yeah. But that doesn't mean there's another candy pot on the top. It means I might have to consider the nah. <laughs> I'm not I'm not that spiteful. Candy pot. <laughs> they run it in they run it in Japanese at least. Um both plays for Kenya. Uh in new snap with a two thirty three fifty four. Uh, right, how to break down Brilliant Diamond Shining Pill? Is uh, well, we could more. talk about Zambi's three thirty. That's the best time with Scyther. How oh, is it? And Brilliant Diamond. Yep. Oh yeah, time to learn Kazu based on the notes. That's solid. Oh, I never submitted my PB. Oh, what's your PB? I have a three twenty. One? Oh yeah, right. Oh, it's either low three twenty one or a high three twenty, but I got frustrated and didn't submit it. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Frustrating game. Is that? I have a three thirty one. That's still waiting on being yeah. approved. Is that on Shining Pearl or Brilliant Diamond? Yeah, Shining Pearl. I haven't uh, done a Brilliant Diamond run yet, but I, I'll probably, I'll probably try both Scyther and uh, the normal Kaza route. Whenever I'm bored of legends. Well, why is it? He says uh, Scythe is a good old main. Exactly. Uh, also, as well, uh, like J uh, J Ash. Yeah, I was about to say. With a he's been on a he's been on a hiatus for a while. Yeah. So good to see, good to see Josh back. Yeah. Uh, do, do, do. uh, YT Reds with the uh, Japanese Turbo Shining Pearl world record with a 338.40. How many people have been using Turbo? Because I mean, I, from what I remember, the boards are uh, the smaller. Uh, I want to say there's like maybe a half a dozen or more. It's not a ton, but it's not empty. Yeah. That's cool. I personally like that there is turbo pods, at least I have the option. Yeah. And I guess with no legends Arceus, that's the main leaderboards. Yeah. All right. Car extensions, there's a lot of alt mains. <laughs> there's always um, a lot of alt mains. <laughs> always the alt mains. Well, video game addict, uh, Clefable one five two is now the best alt main record. Oh, better okay. Than, better than everything else, including Squirtle. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> yep. Please tell me that uses metronome only. Unlucky. Uh. <laughs> Don't think a metronome only run we get a one five two from being real. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a lot of manip. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a lot of people seem to have done custom start to Mewtwo, at least for there to be a safe place time. That's cool. Yeah, that's a popular one. Probably because it's the best one. Yeah. It's... I mean, clearly, it's actually it... Clefable. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's that's the old main. There's a difference it. between alt main and custom start. Oh, yeah. My bad. I'm going to do a beat Misty run. <laughs> Dead in the place as well. 2717. Honestly, to be fair, like, if, if you don't have much time, Beat Misty seems like a good run to do. Just on the fact that it Beat seems Misty short. was like a, a meme category that people would do in waiting for races to start. And then... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the yellow road's actually pretty cool now because you have to Pidgeotto and use that. When did this happen? Wayne got the record with it. It was like a while ago, almost a year ago. Huh. Pidgeotto. Interesting. Yeah, I was gonna I just realized as well. It's still like this blue red and uh, red, blue, yellow for characters. They still haven't done it for uh, gold, silver, and crystal. Which I assume that's because War Tab's been busy. I believe it was War Tab that was handling all of it. All of this stuff. 
still though, Israel with the uh, the only, I guess, crystal uh, category extension run. 60510 with custom starter Electabuzz. Yo, alt, alt main Ludicolo. Next level memes 30620 in Ruby Sapphire. Oh. Actually, which one would you do that in? You have to do it in Sapphire. It's not available in Ruby. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Alright, so in Taz, Pidgeotto gets out of Moon two minutes ahead of Nido King. Interesting. Very interesting. Blindfolded, any percent glitchless. Pokemon Emerald. Warax with the world record of 35701. I feel like it'd be worse for Emerald. <laughs> Emerald's a pretty hard game to do blindfolded. Yeah. yeah. And then a bunch of the like battle. Oh. What's the island called? In Emerald. Like the, like the post game island. Frontier? Thank you. <laughs> Love Frontier World Records. Both silver and gold. It seems. Is there anything that like is? Oh, so I guess based on the comments, you can set your team up prior. I guess that makes sense, but like, is there like, like how much do you know about these runs? Like anyone in here? I was like, just, I don't zero. Zero. Yeah, zero. Yeah, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Just move on then. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about those events. Hey, Bob, you have the alt main boats for Fable World Record in Fire Red Leaf Green. Yeah, I saw. I did it offline like a while ago, and I saw this shiny Clefable guy submit a 522, and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot to submit my run. <laughs> hindsight it kind of seems a little mean but <laughs> but I, I just like I, I did it and I forgot to submit it so I don't know Nido King World Record is a 339 we should just link to that anytime someone asks why we don't use Nido King in Fire Red Leaf Green it's actually a common question because of Gen 1 yeah like Nido King just seems perfect for Gen 1 and then terrible it Gen really 2. is it it just it takes advantage of every broken mechanic in Gen 1. And then in Gen 3, it's just a Pokemon with a bad ability and mediocre stats. I think even if it was on the same route in Fire Leaf Green, you wouldn't even consider it. It's like like it has poison point, but it's not like it's it's really bad. And then it gets worse moves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only good thing about Nido King is you get fully evolved at level 16. Yeah. And then that that carries you for like two towns, maybe a town and a half. <laughs> well, then you could argue the same thing for Clefable and you get Mega Punch and Mega Kick that are stabbed right away. So it's yeah, just exactly. like. <laughs> but really, everyone should just friend Clefable, right? Mention that route. Exactly. Our goal Soul Silver took her in second with Manipulus 80%, a 218 10. And then fourth as well, Rubentus with a 219 24. Was there talk of putting one of these, I'm assuming Manipulus glitchless, onto the main leaderboards? They had a vote, and I believe it did not pass. Right. Fair enough. Uh, black 2, white 2, Manipulus, Minnow in second with a 332.20, which I assume means Minnow's back. Uh, Joylin in fourth with a 342.03, and then Daniel with a 342.46. Fifth. Oh, hey, Bob. <laughs> yeah, it was actually funny. I did these, I wrote these 
both in the same day. The next day, I did these two runs back to back. And then the next day after that, I got the Omega Ruby record. <laughs> Stall on a row. Right. So what you're saying is to get world record, you need to run Blaziken, then Scape Tile, then do the Aim percent run. That's the way you can interpret that, yeah. Take note. The only time it's been done, it it, it worked out, so. Yeah. 100%. Randall in ninth for Ditch Bill, 34.45. Um, trade on Main Lopany, Morgrim with a 4.30.12. And then specifically female Meowstic for Wartab. Yeah, male Meowstic sucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moveset is really bad. Meow 6 is Gen 6, isn't it? Like XY. Yeah. That's that's why I know nothing about it. Um uh, which one of these is the cool category? I mean they're all probably cool, but like which is the coolest one? The brilliant diamond shine pearl. Like reverse badge order glitched all badges seems Interesting for name. Well, I mean, reverse badge orders from Gen One, right? I'm guessing. Yeah. I'm reverse what... badge order is interesting. I like. I was seeing a lot of movement on. I want to say the. I mean, there's not a lot of times on the leaderboard, but the any percent no out of bounds. I thought I saw, um, some people posting times in the Discord. Maybe I'm mixing up with a different category. I mean, there's a couple that. Did someone break the 35 second barrier in crash percent? <laughs> well, if it's going to be anyone, it's going to be the person grinding for a 1430 in any percent. <laughs> True, yeah. It's going to have enough attempts. Crash percent, that's so funny. It's not even you just try for the crash, you just get it sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> When's that gonna get put into mil uh, into milliseconds? Please don't. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have to verify the medicate. That is true. Um, mini game champion stadium two very hard nine tokens. Full Kush with a six oh nine point six seven L zero six seven. They have. They have uh, milliseconds. Why can't BDSV have milliseconds? Still though, congrats on that world record. Uh, Pokemon Rumble Akiri with a 70211 in Collect Them All Live Index, no passwords. Another world, another Rumble world record for Akiri, which I still believe has the most category extension world records. Probably. And they are all for Rumble. Again, I can I can look at this. It's not fully accurate because it doesn't have I don't think it has BSP. But I don't think that would make too much of a difference to this. Yeah. Yeah, by a good chunk. Uh it's accurate. Jeez. Yeah. The fair play on that end. And then Poke Clicker uh Yukisaka with the Kanto Champion Auto Clicker Codeless World Record. 25-27.95. And then Iron. Fire Leaf Green and Plus. That's, that's a, a pretty solid time. That's a fun thing. <laughs> yeah, Head Bob and I played that for a while. There's difficulty modes on it, so this one's the hardest. Okay. Wait, uh, what, are the, what are the different difficulties then? Is it easy? Easy, normal, normal and challenge. This also has instant text, and you can double experience. There's a toggle on the, uh, like, a 
big like main options, uh, the same menu where you would continue a new game. So you can just get whacked out on experience. But even with that, the Elite Four is still very difficult. Yeah, there are some pokes that are added that really, really mess you up. Uh, I think there's a Polyrath on Bruno, and there's a Tentacruel on Koga. Oh, yeah, I know so actually, that. Go, to the go to the beginning of this fight. Actually, this is a really good one. Really great example. Oh, that be, oh, no, that'll, yep. That will do. Yeah, perfect. So, yeah, they have I think, one more poke. So Bruno, very conveniently for Blastoise, leads a Polyrath. It has water absorbed, so you can't use Surf. So you're stuck using not very effective Bite and not very effective Blizzard. Uh, <laughs> so you have to set up 2x specials, and then it also has Focus Punch and Bulk Up. So you have to just pray you hit Blizzards. Because if he hits you with Focus Punch, you can get into, you get into trouble, especially if you start missing. Once you're through that, it's fine. And then Lance is also, also pretty bad as well. Because for Lance, you have to hit you have to hit six blizzards in the fight, and obviously Blizzard only has five PP, so you have to ether in the battle. <laughs> you can get lucky because his Gyarados has double edge, and so if it double edges enough, it does enough recoil damage to itself that you can bite again. So the, the the idea is just X special. It starts setting up dragon dances, and then you just bite Blizz and pray you hit. It also, oh yeah, it also, <laughs> the Kyrados has a focus band, and that, that could just randomly proc. <laughs> and Absolutely there's a bunch of stuff awful. also that have a bright powder also in the E4, a lot of those. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds very horrible. fun. Yeah, the, the round two is even worse, so. It's a pretty, it's a pretty fun, uh, fun game to kind of just rip out attempts because it's super fast and the nips really fast because it's everything's faster you get the running shoes right away same manipulation and everything like that oh it's so like same manipulation you said yeah yeah same rng manipulation it's still not a great manipulation obviously because it's it's a moving target this kingdra oh yeah and then i think it's I don't know if it's this Kingdra or the Kingdra on... I think it's the Kingdra in round two. Um, they also have EVs in the round two. So the Kingdra in round two uh, has a modest nature, 31 IV, um, and it's max e max EVs in special attack. And it has Rain Dance, Swift Swim, Surf. So it hits pretty hard. This one's not quite as bad, although Agility plus Dragon Breath is bad because of Paralysis. Oh, it's, oh, is it just you and Headbob that done runs for it, or...? Yeah. There's one more. Kadir, Kadir's done runs. He hasn't Oh, yeah. He either. started, like, two days ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But he... Recently. But I'm the only one who's done challenge mode. I think Headbob kind of left the challenge mode a bit. I routed it, yeah, but uh, I never did a run. Yeah. And I, I, I did my own route, uh, which is very similar. I used some of what Headbob did, because I was... Running into some issues with the Elite Four, like I was thinking, oh, should I go physical for Elite Four and try to use like Earthquake and stuff? And then I realized that what Head Bob had was better, so I kind of used a lot of what Head Bob had in his notes for the Elite Four. But uh, yeah, ch for challenge mode, also I should point out, um, you'll see that the time is very low. Um, you don't have to catch anything. You just you just blitz the game any percent style. Do the heavy islands, and then uh, you go you can go straight into the the post game. You don't have to worry about catching 60 pokes. So much more convenient. Yep. Cool. Well, that's that's the end of the leaderboard roundup. A uh, few last things to mention. I, 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 I'll pose a link again, but there's the blitz that's... Uh, or the community blitz that's being organized in the 3DS Discord. This time I will put 3DS before putting the link. So that's you notice the 3DS Discord. Uh, if you want to uh, go ahead and join that. Uh, what was it? Is the 6th, 6th of March is the current plan? That sounds right, yeah. Yep. So 6th of March. 
I it's open for I pre, uh, it's open to everyone that wants to join. Uh, so no need uh, if, whether you're doing like first runs or if you are pushing for world record and trying to beat Hebob's time. Then... Please, no one, no. <laughs> Uh, feel free to join that. Um, I don't know if there's a cutoff for the the form though. But if you go into the one of the RS channels, the form's there, and it will probably have the information there as well. Um, for the podcast, the episodes are now starting to be uploaded onto YouTube for season two. I think the first two are. Uh, up right now and they're doing it it's being done every like two days so i should also probably link to the psr youtube channel in fact even better there's probably a command the link is below <laughs> the link is below on the page as well you it is also like there command. So, if you want to watch the podcast episodes for Season 2, they will be there. Uh, I believe the plan for Season 1, because half of it's on Amoeba's channel, there's a couple of episodes that are missing. Um, but I think the plan is it's going to be like an unlisted playlist. But there'll be a link at some point somewhere, probably. If, if someone remembers to sort that out, it'll be there somewhere. I think that's probably the current plan. Um, the next podcast will be on March 5th, so a month from now, or four weeks from now as well, because it's February. Damn it. <laughs> I always get the stupid commander on. Podcast hosts, follow uh, Etiquette and I. Also follow Head Bob and Wave, who I do not have the links Please put something in the chat. <laughs> please put something in the chat, head bob, and wave now, please, if you want to. Okay. And if you're that. asking me to self-advertise. Yes. <laughs> please follow. They are very, very good runners. And is there anything else? No, I think we covered everything. Yep. Who's live at the moment? Snap to speed his world record again. <laughs> okay, cool. What time? 437. 437. Oh, 40. Yeah. yeah. Right, nice. Yeah. Um, nice. I guess that's actually one thing. Uh, it was mentioned at the beginning as well, but just to mention it now. Um, Legends, we'll probably talk about it next month because it it'll be a month since the boards are out pretty much at that point. Or maybe we'll, yeah, I don't know. You want to talk about it next month, Etiquette? I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah, can talk about it next good. month. Cool. So we're talking about it next month. Um, because I think like what's so there'll be like the any percent. There's been some other categories that've been mentioned, like Lord ILs. I know Etiquette's also been. Yeah. Doing a lot yeah. Of there's without spoiling the game for anyone who hasn't played it, there are some mini games that are part of the normal any percent run, but then also you're able to redo them in the uh, post game. So, and when you redo them in the post game, there's a timer, like an actual in-game timer. So we can actually have like essentially individual levels for a Pokemon game, which is not, at least in the main series, not something that's ever really happened before. So uh, it'll be really cool. And then there's also, you know, some people have been talking about some more completionist categories, things like a hundred percent or, catch them all all missions all that kind of stuff um but we'll see what what of that actually gets run um and probably talk about it next month yeah lots of good stuff for sure yeah. uh, everyone, i hope you all have a good rest of your day or evening or time zone wherever you are yeah bye Bye. Goodbye. One day there will be a proper outro, maybe, probably not. <laughs>